Good morning. Today we're going to take a look at the No Touch PO feature in SpendMap. After the requisition and approval process is complete, this feature can be used to send purchase orders directly to your suppliers rather than to a buyer for review. You can enable the No Touch PO feature with this sending in miscellaneous approval rules and settings. If you don't check this box, when purchase orders are built from approved requisitions, the new orders will be delivered to a PO work area of one or more buyers, where they can be reviewed before being sent to the suppliers. You can use this setting up here to determine who the buyer or buyers will be, that is, whose PO work area to put the new orders into. Or, if you do check this box to enable the No Touch PO feature, SpendMap will bypass the buyer's PO work area and send new purchase orders directly to your suppliers as soon as the requisition and approval process is complete. You should still select the target buyer or buyers up here, even if you're using No Touch POs, in case SpendMap isn't able to send a No Touch PO for some reason. For example, if some of your suppliers aren't set up to receive their orders electronically, then those orders will be sent to a buyer to be sent to the supplier as a separate step. Either way, whether it's the exception or the rule, you may want to enable this email notification so that the buyers are made aware when they have new orders to work on. So there are a few cases where the No Touch PO feature can't be used, and new POs will be routed to a buyer's work area even if this feature is turned on. As I mentioned, the No Touch PO feature will send POs to your suppliers electronically by email, punch out, or direct fax, but if any of your suppliers are set up to receive their orders verbally or by hard copy, obviously a human buyer is going to have to step in. Another reason why an order might be sent to a buyer instead of directly to the supplier would be if mandatory fields are left blank. For example, if you haven't made the supplier field mandatory on your requisitions, SpendMap won't know which supplier to send the order to. You can make fields mandatory on most screens and documents in SpendMap using field access restrictions. Finally, SpendMap needs to be able to assign a PO number to each new order. If you're using this setting in miscellaneous requisition settings to use the same number for both the requisition and the resulting PO, you're all set and SpendMap will always have a PO number for each new order. But if you're using multiple sequences of PO numbers, you need to assign a default PO number set for each buyer so that SpendMap knows which number sequence to use for any no-touch POs. Either way, you'll also need to check this box to allow SpendMap to auto-assign the PO numbers to each new PO as they're created. So that's it. Once your suppliers and buyers are set up, anytime new purchase orders are built from approved requisitions, SpendMap will attempt to send the new orders to the suppliers electronically. And if it comes across any orders that don't meet the requirements, those orders will be delivered to a buyer's PO work area instead, and they can optionally receive an automatic email notification.